Welcome back to the FlipNerd.com REI Classroom, where experts from across the real estate investing industry teach you quick lessons to take your business to the next level. And now, let's meet today's expert host. Hi, my name is Adam Stern. I am uh, president of Own America and currently the number one SFR portfolio salesperson in the country. Um, I'm here as host of the REI Classroom to talk about something that's very near and dear to my heart, which is the... Uh, bulk acquisition of SFR portfolios to a retail exit strategy. This REI Classroom Real Estate Lesson is sponsored by UglyOpportunities.com. And what I wanted to talk about today is how you as a turnkey provider or someone that buys or is used to buying distressed real estate, uh, renovating it, stabilizing it, tenanting it, and then selling it to a retail investor can actually change your business around uh, by changing your model very slightly to actually purchase not distressed properties, but to purchase stabilized properties owned by institutional investors, mid-cap investors, and even small mid-cap investors. So I want to break this up into three segments. Um, acquisition strategy, uh, which is number one. Number two, which is uh, setting your buyers or readjusting your buyers' expectations. And number three, uh, your exit strategy, which is going to actually boost the number of properties that your property management company, if you have one, has under management. So I'll start with acquisition strategy. Uh, I know the turnkey business pretty well. I've never been a turnkey provider myself, but I've talked to a lot in my time. I know that your business model is pretty simple. You buy distressed properties, you renovate them, you tenant them, and then you sell them as turnkey properties under your rental management company uh, to retail investors that are used to getting pretty high yields because the basic inventory that I think a lot of you focus on is distressed inventory that you can add some value to, uh, you can renovate yourself, you can tenant yourself, and then make a spread. So your model right now is basically high spread, high work, a lot of time into a very low volume of properties. The strategy that I'm um, contemplating here or contemplating that or asking that you contemplate really is going from buying distressed properties that you need to renovate yourself and you need to do everything to in order to make a wide margin is buying renovated, stabilized SFR portfolios where instead of doing everything yourself, instead of going through the uh, process of finding the inventory, taking it all the way through stabilization and then selling it to make your margin, buying a stabilized SFR portfolio and making a smaller margin. Because what's happening right now in the SFR industry is there's a lot of mid-cap investors and even institutional investors that are sitting on massive piles of inventory that they're looking for an exit for. And that exit can very well be, and everyone agrees, that the retail market is a really, really good exit for them. There's only one problem. No one wants to actually sell to retail investors. Uh, they come to Own America to sell portfolios. And one of the things they like about us is the fact they can sell 10, 15, 100 properties in one closing. Now, what opportunity that represents for you as someone that's looking to get your hands in inventory is um, being able to take down properties in bulk as many sellers want to sell them, but having an exit for yourself that is to the retail investor, which is your business, which will also add juice to your property management company at the end of the day, because the key is you buy inventory, you stabilize it, you tenant it, and then you manage it for your clients. Um, the opportunity to actually buy stabilize SFR at not so much of a discount, but being able to make something that's paramount, not to a spread, but to a real estate commission. And, you know, assuming you're a licensed real estate brokerage and are able to get commissions, that strategy of attracting the big fish by buying big portfolios with the intent to sell to a retail investor, knowing you're not going to make 20000 or $25,000 or $30,000 in a deal for doing a lot of work, but you might make Three thousand dollars, or five or six thousand dollars per deal. Um, a good way to get your hands on new inventory and set yourselves up for long-term success in gr just being a, an exit option that mid caps and large caps need and want. They come to us all the time for it. Uh, we'd love to engage with people who are able to actually reach that retail investor. So that's number one. That is the acquisition strategy. Homevestors, the We Buy Ugly Houses folks, is a franchise system of hundreds of real estate investors that have purchased over 65,000 houses. If you'd like to learn more about the most powerful real estate investing system in existence, 
Whether you're a pro looking to take your business to the next level, or whether you have no experience at all but a burning passion to be successful in real estate investing, please visit flipnerd.com slash ugly to learn more. Please note the views and opinions expressed by the individuals in this program do not necessarily reflect those of flipnerd.com or any of its partners, advertisers, or affiliates. Please consult professionals before making any investment or tax decisions as real estate investing can be risky. Are you a member yet of flipnerd.com, the hottest real estate investing social community online? If not, you can join for free in less than 30 seconds and get access to hundreds of off-market deals, vendors in your market to help you in your business. And you can start networking with thousands of other investors just like you. Get your free account now at flipnerd.com. Please check out the Flipnerd family of real estate investing shows where you can access hundreds of expert interviews, quick tips, and lessons from leaders across the real estate investing industry. They're available at flipnerd.com slash shows or simply search for Flipnerd in the iTunes store.